Lazi, a woman from Newcastle, England, tells one of the bizarre relationship story you will ever hear. According to her, the man she married for 12 years and had three kids together is now dating her stepmother. Ask and you shall receive. Story time on how my baby dad is now in a relationship with um, my stepmother. <laughs> can laugh about it now, it wasn't funny at the time. Um, but yeah, so basically um, last year I split up with my partner of 12 years who I had three children with because I was very unhappy in the relationship um, he was far the co-parent and we got along really well still still some the usual dad shit you know what I mean uh, until February so in February he just stopped contacting us about the kids just wasn't bothered anymore um, and I assumed well I knew that he, ha he had got a new girlfriend which is is fine by me you know what I mean I wasn't in a relationship with him not not my issue um but obviously I wanted to know what was so important, more important than your kids. Um, so his SIM card was actually still in my name. Um, so I rightly so checked my, well emphasise the my, itemised billing and seeing that he was actually ringing and texting her constantly. Um, so I might have, might have sent a few unpleasant text messages, some of them both. And then... Fast forward four weeks, they moved in together. He had removed his tattoo of my name off his chest and replaced it with his. Um, it hasn't really bothered at all with these kids. He's blocked my number, he's blocked his little boy's number, simply due to her insecurities because she can't bear the thought. It kills her inside for her to think that he has anything to do with me. He can't talk to me. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they've, they've been on a little two week holiday to Turkey together where he's played the best stepdaddy in the world to my little brother. Um, and also obviously not seen his kids for weeks on end. Um, but yeah, they're both very toxic people and them being in a relationship together is my karma because it won't end well. And when it doesn't and shit hits the fan. I'll be there to laugh because she'll get fucked. Well, she already has been fucked over, but we'll keep that one quiet. <laughs> uh, she'll get double fucked over. Um, and then he'll be back in his mum's box room with not even a child to his name because he hasn't cared about them. Um, and I'll be the one laughing. But what's really funny is she's deleted everybody that knows him off our social media so nobody can be like oh my fucking god look at her she's 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 with her stepdaughter's baby dad after by the way having an affair behind her husband's back then sleeping with her husband's sister's ex-partner now she's sleeping with her husband's daughter's ex-partner um so everyone knows what she's like anyway but she's deleted everyone that knows him and me off our social media so that she can't get slated for it but what she doesn't realize is one of her very close friends um has and still is deceiving her um because they have worked out what a horrible disgusting individual she is and that is where I get all of the tea. That is where I get all of the screenshots and the holiday snaps. And <laughs> that is where I get all of my information. But we won't drop them in it because otherwise it'll stop and, and we'll like that little bit of entertainment. So yeah, peace. I almost forgot to update on the most recent part of it as well, actually. Um, so I don't contact any of them. I haven't for a long long while now and they can't contact me they are blocked so they can't ring us or text us or anything um but because of a daft few tiktoks i post on this cheeky cow has had the cheek to say that i am poison and love drama the same woman that sleeps with everybody's ex-partners now peace she also explains her children's relationship with her stepmother Morning. Oh, I was actually dreading anybody asking this question. Um, <laughs> no. So basically, before me and my 
ex-partner split up. Um, my stepmother's a hairdresser, okay? Um, and this woman, um, after all of the, the trouble of my stepmother having an affair behind my dad's back and also sleeping with my auntie's step-partner, she knew that we had trouble with my stepmother, but she went out of her way to contact my stepmother and ask her to be her hairdresser. And then later on after that, I had a I had a few drinks with one of one of his sisters, and she actually told us that yeah, my mum done that to wind you up. <laughs> so that is how um, my ex partner and my stepmother got back in contact because obviously he was living back at his mum's, and there she was cutting his mum's hair. Um. Yeah. So basically, out of everybody in this full situation, I don't have contact with my stepmom. I don't have contact with my ex-partner. His mom is actually the one that's probably caused the most bother, if I'm honest. And he doesn't know this yet, and he probably will one day if ever he speaks to us and he sees all of the... I mean, my screenshot album, OK, Nell. When he sees all of the evidence proven that his mom has caused a whole load of unnecessary drama in this situation then he will know so basically when all of this first started he wanted me he would only see his kids if i contacted his mom if all of the communication was done through his mom his mom would pick them up his mom would do all the texting back and forth blah 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 but it come to a point where they decided that they wouldn't have any routine for my kids. They wouldn't they wouldn't communicate properly for my children. So I was blocked from contacting them. But I would receive a text message on a random Wednesday saying, we'll take the kids on Friday at 12 o'clock. And then she would come and pick the children up. She would drop them back off. Um, and I wouldn't hear from them until they contacted me. So I rightly so asked asked her like yeah you can have the kids whenever you're asking for them but can we can we have a little bit of routine and structure for my children if anything it's messing the kids' mental health because they're asking me mommy when are we next going to say dad and nana and i don't know i can't tell you i can't tell you i couldn't ask them will you take the kids on tuesday will you will you do this so basically after me asking for that she said no no you can't. Um, we're not doing that. We might have plans. We might want to do something. I was even offering them to choose the set date, the set day of the week for them to take the kids. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I was like, right, I says, well, I can't have this continue. Um, you are messing with the kids' mental health. And her reply to that was... OK, that's fine, but when he spits his dummy out, and he'll just pay for them, he'll just not see them. Proud mother alert, right there, right there. You must be so fucking proud of your son. Um, But yeah, we've went back and forth with arguments, and like I say, if anything, she's the one that's caused the most trouble. She's the first person in my TikTok view, so she will watch the previous video, and she'll watch this one. Um, She walks past my house every day with her dog. She's pulled my neighbours aside and made up lies about us. Um, Anyone that goes into our workplace, she talks about us too, including one of my ex-partner's exes, who she's asked to load up my TikTok and watch my TikTok videos for her while she was stood with her in our workplace because it shows Laura who looks. Um, yeah, the evidence I've got on my phone to prove that this woman has caused a whole lot of unnecessary drama for me and for her son is absolutely unbelievable. And right now he doesn't speak to us and he won't know that. He probably will if he ever gets a hold of this video and sees it. Um, and he probably will if he ever speaks to us again. He, he, he'll know. And like I say, I don't say anything unless I've got evidence of it. I'm not stupid. So I've got evidence of that as well. But I will. I will leave. Um, I will leave a little snippet of the message of me asking um, Nana of the Year for one day a week to to settle our grandkids' as little brains. Um, and you can see our response. So, in short, fuck no. So here is the message. <laughs> Pause to read. 
and you can make your own decision on that. She also shared the hardship she went through when she first known about all this relationship. Hi, so I thought I would come on and address this comment because I've had a, a few comments just like this one saying that I've remained very calm um, and that you're glad that I can laugh about it now. Um, and obviously I do want to say that yes, I can laugh about it now and yes, I am very calm about it now. But we need to remember for the last six months I have lived this shit. Um, and at the beginning, I'll be honest with you, there was no laughing and there was no calmness. I was like a fucking raging lunatic, I'll be honest with you. And judging by the comments from most of you lovely people, I can imagine that you would all be the same. Um, but now, when I look back at when I was sad and I was angry at the beginning, I remind myself of the what the relationship was actually like. And there was a reason that after 12 years, I walked away from that relationship. I ended that relationship. And the reason I ended that relationship is because he really was not a nice person at all, regardless of what his family want to say about him. Because I can guarantee you now, if it was their daughters living what I lived for most of my relationship, they wouldn't be backing the person up. Um, but yeah, there's a, a lot more, a lot more that I have not said on this situation and that I haven't spoke about, about the relationship that I was in with this person. And right now, I'm not ready to share that with 28,000 of you. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day I will talk about that. But right now, um, I'm not. Uh, so yeah, the reason that I'm very calm and collected and I can laugh about it is because in here I've healed from this shit. The only thing that I haven't healed from and the only thing that I will never heal from until it is made right or until I go to my grave is that two very selfish, toxic, disgusting human beings have not gave a shit about three beautiful babies' hearts in the situation that they've brought forward. And I'll never forgive you for that, ever. Because as far as I'm concerned, my job as their mom is to protect them from anything that may hurt them, regardless of that being their dad. Peace. If everything she is saying is true and accurate, then those two are horrible people. What is your opinion on this?